everyone and welcome to another horror movie review with me, Angela of Morbid Heart Designs. Today we are going to talk about one of my long-term favorite horror movies and that is Sleepy Hollow. Just going to tell you right now, I absolutely love this movie so it's a 5 out of 5. Can't deny it, I mean this is Tim Burton. I fucking love Tim Burton movies and it's Johnny Depp and it's Christina Ricci. Like, there's so much amazing about this movie. Since we're talking about actors, we might as well just go through the rest of the cast really quick. Miranda Richardson, Michael Gambon, Jeffrey Jones, Christopher Walken. Like, this is a fabulous cast. Even the lesser known actors are extremely enjoyable to watch their performances. I mean, the kid actor is the only one that's eh, but he's a fucking kid. So I'm not going to hold it against him, even though he's kind of a teenager. Either way, I'm not going to. It's just awesome. Oh, and Danny Elfman did the music. I'm also biased towards Danny Elfman. So it's like, it's a killer combination. I know people are sick of Tim Burton, Johnny Depp, Danny Elfman movies. I'm not. I love them all. I don't think there's one I haven't enjoyed. I'm okay with that. I'm okay if you judge me for it. I don't judge myself. I am happy with my tastes in the movie. Other amazing things in this movie are the costume designs, the set designs. Some of the graphics don't survive two decades, but some of them still do and look great. God, I feel old now. This movie is from 1999, two decades ago. I feel fucking old, but I don't at the same time. I still love this movie. I really enjoy the character adaptations from the Sleepy Hollow legend, the story, and I really like the interactions that are with the characters, especially regarding Christina Ricci's character and Johnny Depp's character. I think it was a really nice additive. I didn't feel forced to me into the story with how they adapted everything and I really enjoyed what they did with it. There's a lot of action in this movie and I think the action was a lot of the magic in this movie is really interesting to me. I feel like it does pull in some actual time period elements to it. Not that I was alive back then, but it was very reminiscent of what you see in other movies and in stories and books and whatnot. I really do enjoy the Headless Horseman's design. Christopher Walken is an evil fucker in so many movies. I really enjoyed his portrayal in it, but I really liked the detail in the costumes, the way they did teeth, just how creepy he was. I think it was brilliant. The cinematography in this movie is absolutely wonderful as well. It won quite a few awards, nominated again for awards. The costumes and the set, just with how they tie into the time period, just everything about it was well thought out and well executed. My favorite death in this movie is the magistrate holding up his protective sigil and he still gets his head lopped off. It is so fucking hilarious to me. I just, I, I laugh every time. I probably shouldn't, but I do. Do you laugh at that moment? I'm sure you've seen this movie. Let me know if you do in the comments below because I'd like to feel like I'm not the only fucked up person in this world. Moral of the story. Not everything may be as it seems and not all witches are evil. One might even be trying to save your life. So like I said, this movie is a five out of five zombievert level of a movie. There's just so much good about it. And I really enjoyed going back to this classic. This is a movie I watch every few years. I absolutely love it. I don't think that's going to change. So there you have my thoughts on Sleepy Hollow. I hope you've enjoyed this review. I hope you've enjoyed this time lapse. As always, thank you to my patrons, thank you to the subscribers of this channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. I think I'm the only one on YouTube that does horror movie reviews with art, so that's something unique here. You should, you should give me a chance if you haven't subbed, sub so you get notified next time I upload a video and see what you think. You don't have to stick around, I won't be offended, but I would greatly appreciate you giving me a chance. So. From my dark heart to yours, have a wonderful day, and please don't die before my next video.